Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman, and I've just signed up for a free trial of Microsoft Azure. Right now, I'm in the Azure portal, where I can manage my websites, virtual machines, and other Azure resources. I'm going to create a Windows virtual machine and then remote desktop into it. I can do a quick create or pick from a large gallery of virtual machines. There's lots of VMs to pick from, and MSDN subscribers get access to exclusive virtual machines like Visual Studio. But I'm going to do a quick create. I'll put in this is my VM. And I could pick Windows 2012 R2. I'll pick a medium sized one. And I'll put in my name and my password. I'll pick the location. I'm in the West US, so I'll put it there. And I'm going to click Create a Virtual Machine. And right now it's provisioning, it's creating that Windows virtual machine. That virtual machine is firing up in the background. I could move around inside of the Azure portal and do other things, create more virtual machines or websites. I don't have to wait for this virtual machine in order to do other management tasks. Now that virtual machine has provisioned itself. It took about five minutes. I fast forwarded time in order to save you time. Now I can click on that virtual machine, see that it's been created. I can learn about how to manage that, add disks, talk to it with PowerShell. But what I'm going to do is click on the dashboard. I can see the CPU. Of course, it hasn't done anything yet. I'm going to click Connect. And it's going to download an RDP file. And I'll hit Open. And I'm going to connect to that virtual machine. So now I'm using Remote Desktop to connect over the Internet to the virtual machine. You see, this is the first time this virtual machine's been logged into. It's a brand new, fresh VM. And there it is. Here's the server manager. I'm remoted in, remote desktop into this virtual machine running in Windows Azure. I can come down here, right click, task manager, take a look at what the CPU is doing, click on performance. You can see I have two processors and I've got 3.5 gigs of RAM, exactly what I asked for. From here, I could go and shut this down or log out, go back over into the Azure portal, and I'll shut the virtual machine down from here. And when that virtual machine is shut down, I'm no longer being billed. Creating VMs in Windows Azure is very, very easy. Have fun.